Hi, Leo, if you're with a general reading for the sign of Leo, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. I'm happy you're here, and I look forward to seeing what's coming forward for the sign of Leo. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Um, I'm going to start with your current energy, and then I'll move into your future energy that you're stepping into, the future wave of energy, the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, whatever it is to you, but we're looking at the next immediate energy um, that's coming in for you. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and then we'll get right into this into the story. Um, if you do not like the shuffling, then you can just move forward into the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind that at all, Leo. All right, let's get started. What is the current energy for the sign of Leo? What is the current energy for the sign of Leo? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for the sign of Leo? What is the current energy? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for Leo? I think we're good here. There you are. There you are, Leo. What is Leo stepping into in the next incoming time period? What is Leo stepping into in the next incoming time period? What is this energy? Three of Cups. It flipped over but stayed in the pile and flipped over and landed face down in the pile. The Three of Cups. Then it come out on the table. Energy that Leo will be stepping into. The energy that Leo will be stepping into in the immediate incoming future. The immediate incoming future. Right. And guidance for Leo, please. Guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. You might be getting a lot of guidance from friends. That's how I'm feeling. You might have a lot of friends wanting to give you guidance. Not that you need to listen, Leo. You know your life better than anyone else. You have the high priestess here, which tells me that you have um, a very strong sense of intuition, a very strong sense of inner guidance here. And you might, if, yeah, anyway. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right. So for the current energy, Leo, I have the tower next to the strength energy, next to the chariot, and next to the high priestess. Let me get into these energies. All right. Leo, there is a big change here um, that you're, this group is, is experiencing some kind of big change. Something has happened to this Leo group. Some major kind of change is coming in here. Um, it, from this energy, I feel like it's a change in life. A change in life is coming in for this group. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's traumatic, but this is a change in life, a big change in life. So there could be a job change. There could be a new child on the way or a new child coming in. There could be um, there could be a family situation where the dynamic is changing. There could be a separation here. Um, I do not feel that it is a really terrible, stressful period of time. I don't have any nine of swords or eight of swords or ten of swords or ten of wands or nine of wands. 
I don't have any of that energy here. So it tells me when I get into this change, I, I do feel like this is a change. It's a life change. It could have happened quickly, but, but I have a feeling um, that it was in a long time coming or that there was a wind down or a countdown. But whatever this is, like the time is here now. So there could have been a deadline, almost like tax filing in the United States where we have to file our taxes. We know that there's a deadline where we need to file our tax paperwork. And we know that the deadline isn't here yet, but it's going to be here yet. And at some point in time, that deadline is here. Whatever this is, just like in the United States, we can extend our tax filing deadline. I don't think this is anything you can extend, unfortunately, or fortunately, because I don't necessarily feel like this is anything bad. I just think it's a big change here for you, a big change coming in. Now, I do feel here with the strength energy, there is some excitement around this. There is some angst. There is, while there's not an extreme amount of worry, there is some excitement here some movement forward. And I think over the last period of time, I think over the last period of time, you've probably been, or even in the current energy, you've been probably watching your actions, being careful, moving forward in a careful way. I do feel like there's another person here. I feel like there's another person here for many of you, the high priestess. I feel like that's a different energy. Um, it's a different energy. So there could be another person here, a mother, a sister, a spouse, could could be a man, doesn't have to be a woman, could be a man. This energy is very internally connected. Um, this could be someone who prefers to keep things undercover or prefers to keep things on the down low, prefers to keep things more mellow. This could be someone very much impacted by energy swings. She could, this person, whether it's a man or a woman, could feel energy. She could be very empathic. She could be very reactionary to energies that are um, extreme. So you could be working with another person in this situation, somebody at work, a spouse. Um, this person that you are working with is very internally guided, very connected to the divine, this could be a person who is even keeping secrets or has a secret um, that they have or is keeping some kind of a secret with you or some kind of a project that you're working on that not very many people know about. But I think more than that, this is, this is a high priestess energy. is an energy of someone that you're connecting in with that is very um, sensitive to energy, very sensitive to words, very sensitive to tone, but a very strong and wise person. The high priestess has abilities that are um, quite profound, abilities in connecting in, connecting into the cosmos, connecting into the hidden um, information, into intuition. Very beautiful energy, but at times can be, can require um, gentleness and care with the high priestess. Now, whatever this is, it's moving forward. Okay, so something is happening here. It's like that deadline, that tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. There's something here that's coming into fruition or something that's happening. It's moving forward. It's a, it's a Cancer energy. We have Leo energy here. We have a Pisces kind of energy, an emotional energy. And then we have a Chariot energy, a water energy, another kind of emotional energy. Um, so there is forward movement, but I do see that it's balanced. I see that it's happening. It, there is a balance, and I even think between these two people, there is somewhat of a balance here between strength and the high priestess. I like that the chariot, the chariot energy is the, is the median energy, the median energy between these two people. I feel like these are two people, two different people, and there's a change in life coming here for these two people, and it's coming forward like it's going to happen. That's what's happening now for this group of people. Let's see what's happening in the next immediate future. Now, this is what I see. So I haven't seen these cards either. So let's see what comes out here. Lovers, Gemini energy. Two of Cups, partnership in some way. 
Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Nine of Cups. And then we have the Devil Energy in the upright. So there could be a Capricorn type energy here. There could be some fear. Well, this is a very nice energy. Um, I do see a partnership here. I felt that earlier. I do see a partnership. I see Gemini energy. I see Capricorn energy. I see Earth energy here. Something stabilizing. So as we move into the next immediate time period for Leo, um, we have this lover's energy next to the, to the Two of Cups. I just feel like in the past, whatever this partnership was, um, there was some real strain on this partnership. There was some pain here. Whatever, for whatever reason, there was some pain here. Um, there could have been some painful kinds of decisions that had to be made in the past. There could be healing now that's required between two people or between two groups of people. Um, but I do sense this, this lover's energy here is here with the Two of Cups. So uh, I feel like there's some kind of situation that's reviving itself or rebuilding itself or coming back into a more aligned way or a, in a more balanced way in the next immediate time frame. Something is happening with the Nine of Cups. This is a wish coming true. So I just feel like these two people, these, the, these two energies, I'm going to call them energies, whether they're two people or two groups of people or two family units, they could even be two different families, groups of friends, two friends, but there's two people here, two energies here that are recovering and moving forward after a period of pain, three of swords. There could have been some kind of a painful decision um, around a relationship or decisions that were had to had to be made around a family unit or around a partnership that were kind of painful or things that happened um, between two people that created a need for healing. Um, but I see in the upcoming future something is happening here where there's a wish coming true, and this wish coming true is is over the top of the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever this is, it's something that you have been working towards, Leo. It's something that you have working, been working to manifest with this partnership, with the Two of Cups. And it's something that's bringing in stability and long-term. Um, it's a legacy-type energy. There is a new enjoyment of life. There is a new relaxation in life, a new comfort. Something is coming in here with the Nine of Pentacles. Something is happening. There's some kind of celebration here, a victory, a celebration, a recovery. This recovery, this celebration, this victory that's coming in happened because of how care was given, compassion was given towards internal, the inter internal health with the Nine of Cups. So someone or somebody had to heal. Somebody, there was a healing here because the Nine of Cups is the energy of um, focusing intentionally on the well-being of the, of the soul of the heart center. And with the Nine of Cups, that tells me that there was a victory in this, that somebody has really healed within this situation. And now there is um, new long-term abundant energy that is going to begin to manifest here around these two people with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be success in business. This could be perhaps even a new child being born or some kind of situation that is um, resolving itself or being resolved. And it's bringing long-term stability back into this partnership. Why I say back into the partnership, returning back into the partnership is because I definitely see this three of swords over the top of the lovers and the two of cups. And now we have the nine of cups, which talks about wishes coming true. 
So whatever this is, there is some sort of wishes coming true here, some sort of manifestation of, of goals and dreams and desires that brings in long-term comfort, comfort, stability, and abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. We do have the devil um, energy over the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this could possibly be the High Priestess energy. Um, the High Priestess energy, or it could be both of you together. There could be some worry here. There could be some worry. There could be some anxiety around what's to come. But I like that the Ten of Pentacles here is here, and I like that the Seven of Pentacles is here, because that tells me that there is a willingness, there is an ambition to continue to work on this, to continue to train, to continue to build, to continue to wait and invest in whatever this relationship is. And I do like this pentacle energy, which is telling me that you both are very practical, you're grounded, you're thinking stri strategically, you're thinking in a very, um, in a way that brings in abundance with the pentacles energy, a grounded energy. But we do have this devil energy. So I think as you move forward in the future, there will be a concerted effort. There will be intentional focus on um, moderating fear as you move into the future. The devil energy is, is a lack of moderation, a lack in moderation of our thoughts, maybe even our egoic thoughts, our fear thoughts. A lack of moderation in what we consume or our behaviors. There is some sort of a fear here. But even though there is this ego here, there is a willingness to work on this. So I, I just think it feels to me like a bit of an anxiety. Like this, there might be a fear that this is just for a limited time. So there's going to need to be some sort of, um, that's why we have the strength energy too, Leo. It's it, There's going to need to be, um, a, a reconnection with what all of your capacities are and your skills, why you're here and what you're doing. What is the goal of this? Reconnect in with yourself because the devil energy is sometimes the ego coming in and um, twisting up, twisting up the beauty that you have, twisting up the success that you're feeling. It could twist it. It is that um, devil's advocate that we have within ourselves it is the the our own consciousness that can sometimes um, bring in negative thinking or bring in fear thoughts. So I like that the devil energy is is connected to the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. It tells me that there is an ability here to handle whatever this anxiety or worry is, because it's being handled with this very um, grounded. Um, Pentacles energy, the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. It's a slow energy. It's a careful energy. It's an energy of investing, energy of working, an energy of watching the pieces fall together and giving it time to all manifest, to all move forward in, in a way that you know deep down it can and it will. So one or both of you are worried, and I just have a feeling I have a feeling it's it's more of the high priestess, but again, um, it just is going to kind of depend on what your story is. But I, I don't see anything bad in this energy. And in the devil energy, I don't feel like it's super strong. Um, I think that it's just fighting the ego, fighting the fear. Remember, fear is just an emotion. It's not a fact. You know, fear of failure, fear of the future. But you have the Seven of Pentacles, which is an energy, energy of um, working, investing, being positive about the future, being optimistic about the future, planning and being strategic about the future. This is about creating structure. And that structure that you create around whatever this is, is going to help you moderate the, the fear or the ego here that you're dealing with. There's nothing bad about the ego. We Everyone struggles with the ego at times, especially when you're going through a situation like this. But I like that this that the ten and the seven are here, and I love that the nine of cups is here. This is this is something here beautiful happening to this partnership. All right, let's look at what the guidance is. 
What is it? Guidance here? Uh-huh. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. And the Emperor. So, yeah. There's the discipline that I was talking about with this, with these energy of the devil with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. There's discipline here. So with the Ace of Cups, next to the Six of Cups, next to the Emperor energy, I mean, there's something beautiful building here. Something really beautiful building. Some new inspiration. A new love interest is building. Something that inspires you. It could be, even be self-love. It could be um, a returning of love between two people. or um, It's just something that really inspires you. It's what makes you lay in bed at night and just cuddle um, and smile to yourself. And feel excited about the next day. Feel inspired to do whatever you're doing. Happy. It's like your heart pulls you forward into whatever you're doing. It's a very joyous energy. It's a very joyful energy. Happy energy. Could be new love. It can be for some. But for others, it's a recovery of a partnership. A rebuilding of something. A rebuilding of even of inner spirit, of inner self. But it, I do feel like it has to do with two people or two groups of people here because we now we have the Six of Cups. Soul connection, soul path, soul well-being, soul health. Six of Cups is an energy of healing. It's an energy of something that pulls at you and you really can't tell why. It's something that can make you cry. It's something that can affect you. It's something like a commercial. If you watch a commercial on TV and you don't know why, but all of a sudden you're tearing up at that commercial and you don't know why. It's just a commercial. It's only 50 seconds long, but somehow it pulls at you, right? That's what this does. It pulls at your soul. It can heal your soul. It can be a, it can bring um, a revival to your soul, but there's something here maybe with family, maybe with a soulmate, a soul path a family tribe, a tribe of people, a homeland, whatever pulls at you, whatever tugs at your heart and, and influences you in ways that you can't really even um, describe to anyone. Um, there is a soul connection here. It's very beautiful too when I'm in that energy. It's a very gentle energy. It's even, it could even feel like a young baby, a baby, a child. It's something that you just want to wrap your arms around, that kind of a feeling. It's something you want to wrap your arms around and protect and nourish. It's that kind of an energy. Then we have the emperor energy. Could be an Aries. For some of you, this could be a person that's here, the emperor person. If it's a person... This is an energy of somebody who is in a hierarchy. In the hierarchy, this person is at the top or at the very near top of some kind of hierarchy. This is someone who has a specialty, a niche, some kind of um, experience or knowledge that this person has that um, puts him or her into a place of authority or of some kind of guidance or um, supervision. This is someone who likes rules and regulations and processes and systems and understands that people work best um, with these kinds of structures and guidelines. This is someone that when everything is going well, this person can kind of sit back and relax. But if there is some crisis or if there is something that is not working well, this person really becomes um, a participant in resolving it. And they can be quite structured um, and, and somewhat... Um, demanding because of their experience and their knowledge. So if this person is experiencing stress, they can become um, a little bit more controlling than they normally would be. I don't really sense that here at all. I think for many of you, this is also discipline, routine, having the strength to step forward into something new and really um, be, be a commander in that to relax and create systems and structure around it so that there can be um, a process, a routine, some kind of structure. So I think the emperor energy, um, for me, mostly, mostly, not for everyone here, but mostly it represents a kind of energy um, that creates structure and therefore the structure creates 
some sort of, of pathway that will help with fear and help with stepping into it's just some kind of a new situation. But for some of you, this is a type of person here that's here that is affecting the situation. I don't feel like they're affecting it in a negative way. I feel like they're a part of this beautiful story. Um, this could be Leo here. This could be an Aries. Um, this could be a man or a woman. It's more about the energy. This is someone who um, brings more abundance to the table, brings more, brings structure to the table. If you think of the Empress, the Empress is usually the, um, the maternal energy. She's the mother. She is the creator. Um, the emperor then takes whatever the empress creates and he builds it. He makes it more abundant. He makes it more, um, it, he, he builds from it. So this is an energy that's a, a masculine energy, um, can be a man or a woman, but this is a person that takes something and builds more of it. Take something that the empress creates and raises it, Right. If you think of it very simply as like a, the empress having a child, now the emperor will help raise it, will help bring it to a very strong and abundant position in its life. So however that um, really works for you, I think the emperor here can mean several things, just depending on, on how this fits in your situation. But I think for many of you, this is creating structure as you move forward in whatever this new beautiful love energy is managing it okay my beautiful friends that's what i have today i'm going to move into the extended reading now um, i'm definitely going to look into this nine of cups energy i'm definitely into the ace of cups energy what else am i going to look into here two of the two of cups let's see what i can find here I think maybe I'm going to look at this emperor energy just because I think it has to do with a lot of it with this structure that's going to help with fear, but it can also be a person. So I want to dig a little deeper into the emperor energy and see what we have here with the emperor. So these are the four energies I'm going to dig into. I'm going to dig into these four, see what else we can find with these four energies. And then I'll take the situation and I'll move it out month by month. All right, my friends, thank you very much for being here. It's always a pleasure to read for Leo. Uh, my beautiful Leo friends, thank you very much, and I wish you a beautiful week. Thank you.